Once again, the studio is a complete disaster. There's always new stuff coming in. I have to find a place for it. Things tend to pile up. But what I do try to do is keep a handle on my digital music library on my hard drive. And if you get an organizational system together with this, it's not hard to do. Now, everybody does it different. This isn't how I think you should do it. This is just how I do it, and I thought I'd share it with you today. All right, this is my main desktop. Now I'm going to click on computer and check out this big storage drive, which is only 1.5 terabyte. Half of it's full, and that's my music, and it's the only thing on this drive. So let's click on music. There are two subfolders, artist and various artists. Let's take a look at artist. What is this? This is where I put complete albums. So let's say Aerosmith. I have three Aerosmith albums, complete albums in this folder. Beastie Boys. I've got five albums for Beastie Boys, and it goes on and on for as many artists as I have. The other one is Various Artists. Now, this one has a lot of subfolders in it. This is where I keep all of my compilation CDs, anything I've bought. And then I also have all of my DJ-only stuff in here. So if we just kind of poke around a little bit, give me a second to locate something, anything. Um... Under pressure, I can't find it. Here's my old DJ Tools file. Remember DJ Tools? Okay, I've got volume 1 through 10 in here. And they're all here. They're complete. I don't cut up any of my compilations. I'm a collection guy. I like to have everything in one big collection. Let's see, what else can we pick on? If we go to... Uh, go down a little bit. We can go to Prime Cuts. 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012. Now, if we click on any of these subfolders, something happens. Check this out. Click on, I don't know, 2011. It's every single week has its own folder in 2011. So I can go to any given week and click on it, and it shows me all the files that I got that week from my Prime Cuts. That's with all the music services, too. Promo only is here as well. I've got that broke down a little different. Check it out. Let's go to, oh, I don't know. How about UK Underground Beats? I've got 2011, 2012 in here. Click on 2012, and I've got them sorted by month. Click on the month, and there are my tracks. So I do that with everything that I have. It just makes it easy. As soon as something comes in, I put it where it belongs. And as long as I keep doing that, I can keep things nice and organized. Again, as soon as something comes in, I try to rip it in right away and put it in its proper place. That way things don't get crazy, because once things get out of hand, they're really hard to, to organize. So the sooner you can get organized, the better. However you decide you want to do it, whatever the best way is for you, do it. Know where your stuff is. Yes, there are a lot of duplicates in here, but I don't mind. I like collections. I don't like having three songs off of an album. I like having the entire album. It's the old record collector in me, I think. Something I wanted to kind of throw out there, I've talked to a lot of DJs who get music services like TM Studios or Top Hits or Promo Only, and they say, you know, I don't take every song off of the issues and put them on my hard drive. It's just too much music. But, you know, I think that you should, if you can. I mean, again, data is relatively inexpensive. If you're using any given music service, I think it's a great idea to grab everything and let your audience decide what they want to hear. There might be something that pops up that you didn't think was a great track when you reviewed everything that turns out to be a great track. So for that reason, I use all of the music, or I take all the music from every service that I have, and I carry it with me everywhere I go. I don't cherry pick. But however you want to do it is up to you. Just make sure you know where your stuff is, keep yourself organized, helps you from doubling up and if you're ever looking for something, you know where to find it. Practice and enjoy.